Well, hello there and welcome to another training nugget. In this video, I'll be showing you on how to work with import and export of CSV in ClickUp. Let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is to log in into ClickUp using your provided username and password. You'll agree with me that when you're working with ClickUp, there's a lot of settings and customizations that you go through until your task is complete. Sometimes you want to migrate from one ClickUp to the other and you really don't want to go through the hassle of starting from scratch and creating your tasks and adding in your subtasks. ClickUp has an interesting interface that allows you to do export and import of CSV files to make it very easy either when you're migrating your files or when you just feel that you don't want to create subtasks and tasks manually. So to take that into action, the first thing you'll want to do is to know how to export a specific workspace. Now I'll navigate into project management space and inside my project management space, I have video production task. So I'll click into the video production task and there's quite a number of tasks and signees that has been created in my workspace. So what I want to do is to export the whole of the video production tasks and then re-upload them into a fresh distro or into a different space within ClickUp. So once I am into the video production task, I'll navigate to the top section where we have filter, group by, and assignee, and I'll click on the toggle option. From the toggle option, there's an option for exporting. Here, once I click, there are different options that I can use when I am exporting. I can export all the visible columns or the task names only, and I can also choose all the columns that are available. The file format in this case, I will choose CSV, but you can also choose Excel if that's the direction you want to take. It doesn't affect much. I'll leave everything else as is and click on download. Once the download is complete, the file will appear in your downloads folder in your computer. Now to upload this CSV file that I have already downloaded in my computer, I'll navigate into my user account and there's an option for import and export. From the interface on importing and exporting, there are a number of options that are there. I want to import my data from CSV, which happens to be here on Excel, so click directly on CSV or Excel, and it will ask me to upload data from a file. I can also decide to type in manually, which I don't think that's the direction you'd like to take. I'll click on upload data and I'll navigate into my downloads folder. And here we go, the file that we had already exported into our computer. So we'll just wait for it to do the population. And here we go, it has already populated that. Uh, I may decide to choose this very um, fast area or the first column or row, I may decide to choose the first row to be my header. So to say, does the selected row contain the headers? Definitely, that is true. I'll click on yes. I'll also look at the different um, equations that are in here. I'll leave them as default because I had already imported from here. I'll click on review. And it will tell me what the due dates look like and in case i need to repair i'll then click on continue i'll reassure i'll click on yes and it's done where am i importing this into the space rather than the project management because i already had it there and then i'll click on next what happens it has me a few other links whether i want to import or not i'll just say leave everything as default and click on yes So it will take a few minutes or a few hours depending, uh, but once it's done, I can look at the status up here. I'll go back into my space. And you'll agree when I go into the space, 
there are a number of uh, elements that are being imported uh, and the imported from the CSV is actually in progress uh, from the files I had. And here they are, some of the tasks are already in here. Well, that is how you work with CSV importation in ClayCut.